at a drive-thru got way out of hand in southwest Philadelphia. Now a fast food employee is accused of using hot grease as a weapon. Action News reporter Catherine Scott reports. That's a crime. Stunned regulars at the Southwest Philadelphia Checkers, where overnight an employee was charged for throwing hot grease on a customer. I don't think I'm going there anymore. It's a lot of young people working there, and there's always drama going there. Always drama. They need to switch this store up. Today, the store was locked. Customers showed up for food only to drive away empty-handed. Witnesses exclusively tell Action News that around 3 a.m., they had ordered at the drive-thru near 58th and Baltimore, but were upset when they say they didn't get the right items for their $30 order. They explain the employee refused to help. We were basically telling her that we weren't leaving until we got our food, what we paid for. Two sisters and a friend who don't want to be identified said the employee first told the women to come back when the employee got off work so they could fight. They tell Action News they just wanted their food. Soon the argument turned violent. She got a metal container and was dicking it inside of, of the, the fryer that's been on for 24 hours a day. That's a 24-hour store. That grease is hot. Witnesses say three times the employee threw containers of grease, one right after the other. A fellow employee at first unsuccessfully trying to stop her. The hot grease splashed on the car and went through the window, hitting one of the women on the thigh and forearm. We were arguing back and forth, which still doesn't give her the right to throw grease on us. She wasn't hit. She wasn't threatened. She, we didn't get even... Like, we didn't do anything to her. The witnesses called police, and the employee was later arrested, charged with aggravated and simple assault. We could have been seriously injured. We have a, a family member that's in the hospital right now for, yeah. for burns. Checker spokesperson Kim Francis released this statement about the franchise restaurant. The franchisee is taking this incident very seriously, and the manager involved is no longer with the company. That behavior was completely unacceptable and does not represent the values of the hundreds of Checker's employees who serve our Philadelphia guests every day. The franchisee is cooperating fully with the police in their investigation. The woman burned by the hot grease was taken to Mercy Fitzgerald Hospital where she was treated and released. YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again to hit you with a video. Now this video right here is about a Philadelphia fast food worker, a manager, yes, had to go there. And when I first heard this story, I'm like, wow, I can relate because sometimes you go to some of these places at night, some of these damn workers be full of shit. Let me just be honest with you. They do not want to get your order right. They don't even want to put no damn ice in your damn drink. Give you some cold or some hot ass drink or something with no ice in the basically water down or whatever. And they might even spit in your damn food. Not saying that this woman in this Philadelphia checkers location did the same thing. But no, it doesn't happen to quite a few people. Sometimes you go there, you might find a string of hair in your food. Like how in the hell y'all have hair in, in the food when you got hair in that song? Did somebody put this hair in my food? You have to be very careful when you go to this these restaurants no matter what they are now you have people because i worked at a restaurant you know what i'm saying a fast food restaurant and big shout out to anybody who work at those locations no matter if they mcdonald's burger king sonic checkers or whatnot but anyway we know sometimes customers come through there and they give us a hard time and they gave me a hard time when i was working there years ago they gave a lot of you all a hard time just here last night a while ago or right now if you had work listen to this video right now big shout out to you if you are just throw your fist up and say i'm gonna get out of here one day that's all you gotta do just pump your fist in there and say i would not be doing this for life I used, to, I used to do that. It helped me out. But anyway, but what happened when people come through there being very rude and belligerent? Sometimes you just be want to just put, you know what I'm saying, just lay hands on their ass. Sometimes you be just want to just go there with them. But you have to remember, sometimes you need this damn job. You got bills due. Some of y'all got kids. You know, so what you would tell them to do? You would do them like the girl, uh, Danielle Brigoli, catch me outside. You know what I'm saying? You tell them, catch me outside or I'll see you outside. But what happened when they come back, as in this story right here? Now, if you come back and I told you to leave or whatnot, that's your ass. I'm thinking that you don't want to got a gun or you don't want to got some more people, some more ninjas, and you're going to try to do something with me. So, therefore, it's going to be on and popping. And, and the main thing, since I ain't got no weapon in here, I got something that, that'll hit you worse than that AK-47. What's that, Trey? This big old pan of grease. Now, like Miss Latifah did. And any woman named Latifah, you think about Queen Latifah. You do not mess with no woman named Latifah. Big shout out to all the Latifahs out there in the world. Because that one thing about it, they would put something on your ass at the post, post office can't even get off. Now, these women came through the drive through and you can imagine that even though they try to make themselves seem all peaceful, I highly doubt that because there's no way a manager, this woman don't work herself up to a manager. It's not like she's just a regular employee there. And I'm not saying this to make it sound like it's some big old exclusive presidential job. But what I'm saying is this. Walk with me while I talk to you. 
What I'm saying is this right here, is that if she worked herself up to be a manager, nine times out of ten, she care about her job. She's been there a while. She's not going to just throw away over bullshit. You have to see both sides of the story. And I understand that part, and I'm not saying no matter if she did all that, whatever, how, if she'd been there 30 years, that still don't give her the right to throw anything. I understand that she's wrong, period, point blank. That's why I'm doing the video. But at the same time, you know, you have people come through there, throw stuff at you, pull weapons on you and every damn thing else. And sometimes you just can't control yourself. You know what I'm saying? You'll wind up like Will Smith in West Philadelphia, born and raised on a playground where he spent most of his days chilling in, maxing, relaxing and cooling you know, all this type of shit. You chilling there, checkers and stuff, relaxing and maxing. There's some girls uh, come up starting, starting trouble in your neighborhood or just up to no damn good. That type of stuff. So just like he had to move to Bel Air, she had to get the hell up out of the job. They end up firing this woman for what I don't really know because it's like this. If somebody come there, who's to say if they didn't pull a gun on her? Who's to say if they didn't do not do it, if they did not threaten her or whatnot? I'm just saying. But at the same time, I understand because you can't throw hot grease on somebody. But who's to say if this is the whole story being told? But I understand it's a, it's a business at the same time. So let's get that understood. I'm not saying it's, it's cool to throw grease on somebody. What I'm saying is this right here is protect yourself. Because who's to say if these females that come up there like the other places? Come up there to shoot to shoot you or catch you walking to your car and slice your neck with a box cutter, especially them damn box cutters. Y'all know about them box cutters. You see some of these females walking around with them damn cuts and stuff of these guys, them razor cuts, them ain't from shaving bad. That's from somebody slicing their ass like some damn government cheese. Anyway, I'm going to read a snippet from this story and I'm going to give my opinion. Surely as we go. Philly fast food worker throws hot oil at annoying customers. You all ever fry some fish? Man, I hate that too. I had to get that right. See, I used to just drop mines in there and stuff. And damn, they caught my whole, I did. I caught the whole stove on fire. You feel me? No lie, no lie. So it burnt that fish up. So what I learned how to do, just slide it up in there. You got to let it slide in there just like, just like that. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, once I figure that out, I'm good. But I'm telling you, just a little speck of grease just get on. You know what I'm saying? Then what's that sound we make when some grease get on? We go, we'll drop some in there and then splash. Go, and go, we go, we'll, we'll go like, <laughs> and you ain't never did that before. You ain't never made that sound. That, <laughs> that means something got on your ass. You can't even get off. And when grease get on you, I'm telling you, it's over. with. You'll be like Al Green when, when he got them grits thrown on you. I think I already have grease on me than some damn hot ass grits. Because it's like them, them grits just stick to you. You feel me? Now, Latifah Linda. Philadelphia checkers fast food worker arrested after dousing three females. She got all three of them helpers, customers with hot oil following disagreement at drive through venue. Damn, Philly, y'all coming like that and stuff. Y'all, she ain't just get one of them. She got all three of y'all. You know what I'm saying? She must listen to Birdman. Y'all gonna put some respect on my name today. Also making her tabloid debut is 28-year-old Philadelphia fast food worker Latifah Linda. Sound like somebody who don't who ain't who ain't gonna play no games with you. Sound like somebody who's very good with a pot of grease. Sound like somebody who will get all up in your hands or your underwear. After throwing hot oil at customers following an argument, cops say the checkers restaurant manager employee was working at a drive-thru window in the early hours of Saturday, 3 a.m. And you know one thing, you be at work at 3 a.m. You don't want to hear nobody's shit. You just want to get off at six or seven o'clock in the morning when your shift over with, and that's it. Go home and get you some rest. Take a good shower for those of us who go home and wash our buggers. Some of us get off work and don't go do nothing. Don't go do nothing. Be ready to go have sex some damn well and stuff. Be smelling like straight old beef and patties and stuff. Now, when she got into an altercation with Three women inside a Chevy Impala. If you know they come into a Chevy Impala, let me tell y'all something for who be, working, who be working these restaurants at nighttime. If you see somebody coming to your drive through with a Chevy Impala, you already know it's got shit on your mind. Just remember, you, you heard it here first from the No Ledge Show. They got shit with them. They got shit on their mind. And no offense to my subscribers out there who drive Chevy Impala. I'm not talking about none of you all. We talking about the rest of them people. Now, Temples were afraid when the three women, I often say three women, when the three women told the drive through employee at the 5800 block of Baltimore Avenue. And for those of you all from the area, you know exactly what that says. Some of y'all probably went over there like, man, they did shut it, shut it down for the day. I know y'all are mad as hell. Y'all can get that big beef up. Y'all can get that, that baconator. Now, location that their order was wrong. Basically, you know, some people mess up on the orders. It's late at night. You know what I'm saying? She probably did by herself or got one of the other workers or whatnot. Or, or you got a janitor in there cleaning up, which they don't even cook. They eat up all the damn food, though. But anyway, so she's, you know, she probably did mess up the order. Now, Linda disagreed and wouldn't change it. That's the problem right there. You know, and sometimes they be picking at you. I'm, I'm serious. Sometimes they be picking at you because understand, I work fast food before. I worked drive through when I, when I when I was 18 years old at Burger King. So I know I made the burger myself perfectly. You know what I'm saying? Took that Whopper, took my time and laid it over that bun and stuff. When it took my time, when it got that tomato, I made sure it was two tomatoes. Just like how you see on the uh, commercial, you had one laying like this and one laying like that. 
I put them two tomatoes on that all juice 100 percent American beef USDA certified patty. Then I uh, threw some damn lettuce on top of it. Had a little mayonnaise and stuff, a little mustard and what? Cause you they have a screen called heavy mayo. Uh, no mayonnaise. You learn how to read it. But anyway, y'all know what I'm talking about. So I put that on there just a salt. I ain't even mash it down. You know, sometimes you mash it down. I just put it on that salt. So I knew it was perfect. Guess what? They still had a damn problem with it. Tell me with no damn mayonnaise. I'm like, bastard, don't you see this damn mayonnaise right there? That ain't that ain't the other stuff, that other white stuff. We ain't gonna go there. I'm saying that's mayonnaise, you feel me? A whole damn problem. But anyway, I ain't up giving them another damn burger. And I ate that burger my sucker. That was a good old burger. Anyway, let's continue. Now the, the women in the car in turn refused to leave the drive through You know where this is going. Don't you? Yes, we know exactly where it's going. And I wouldn't leave either if my order wasn't right. But sometimes I had left when my order was wrong and at the same time came back and talked to the manager because I don't want to talk to the peons. You feel me? Because you're going to say something smart. I'm going to I'm be, I'm be in a did that. See how fast that was? I'm going to be in a did that shit. I'll be, be in jail begging one of you all to come bail me out some damn way. I'm like, call the other YouTubers up. Come get your boy up out of here. You feel me? I got the money. I just need somebody to come down there and sign the papers. But anyway, now, CBS Philly reported matters escalating when a frustrated Linda Yes, Linda Latifa. Turn in the direction of the three females, dousing them with a cup of hot grease. So we went from them not being able to get their order right, so they say, to them just sitting there, wouldn't leave, and then her all of a sudden just throwing a cup of grease on them. I know more than that was a change, because you know as women, come on now, you you know, especially your hood women. Let's be fun, let's be for real now. Let's stop trying to act like we are uh, uh, Mother Teresa. You feel me? Let's stop acting like we we the, we we Bishop T D Jace wives and stuff and all this other stuff. You know damn well some of y'all get a little flippity, a little lippity at the damn lips, and you be calling each other all kinds of B's, H's, every damn thing. So you know there's a lot of stuff getting passed around. Now, when they still didn't leave, police say Linda grabbed two pants. I thought she grabbed a cup. Two pans of grease and again threw it at the damn women. She threw the cup and a pan of grease. I guess that's what that stain we seen on that damn hood of that car was. Linda wasn't bullshit. She like, get y'all ass out my line and just douse they ass. Damn, I would have left with the damn cup. You know, I would have waited for the damn pan. Oh, hell no. You ain't finna burn my damn ass up. Scar my face up. Shit, that's all I got going for me. And that in my mind. Anyway, the all splattering led to one 20-year-old woman being burned on her left arm and left leg and being taken to Mercy Hospital where she remained in stable condition. It's a good thing that hospital is named Mercy. Lord have mercy on her and her burns. A 20-year-old woman and a 26-year-old woman were burned on the left arm, legs, and head, but declined treatment according to the New York Post. Probably just a little splatter, because I ain't, I don't know what damn woman that got burned ain't going to the damn hospital, especially when you think you can sue her or the damn stove. So evidently, it's, it's a lot more being said, or they wasn't as uh, badly hurt as the first woman. The first woman just called her, so she must have been the driver, because the driver going to get it. Now, if you're you right behind the driver, you're in the back seat, you got a good chance. But if you're the driver, that's your ass, Mr. Postman. You remember, the, you remember the little show used to come on called a Swamp Thing? How he had his all face all messed up like that? I bet that's how she looked at this stuff. And the other one just looked like they just got in a little cat fight. Now, the franchisee is taking this incident very seriously. And the manager involved is no longer with the company. Poor thing and lost a job. All that hard work, all them flipping them juicy patties. Don't went down a damn drain. A spokesperson for Checkers told NBC News, Lord have mercy, that behavior was completely unacceptable and does not represent the values of hundreds of Checkers employees who served our Philadelphia guests every day. I wonder what Rick Ross had to say about this. He didn't invest about 50 or 100 Checkers. I wonder do we got a, a Checkers in damn uh, Philadelphia. I know he got one in B, uh, B more. He got a lot of them in Florida, all over damn Florida, Georgia. I wonder do he got one in Philly. But anyway, He'll be making a public statement also if he does. Upon being taken into custody, Linda was charged with aggravated and simple assault, reckless endangering, and related offenses, but she didn't get charged with aggravated stupidity. That charge should have been left for the damn drivers because one thing about it, if somebody throw a cup of grease at you, when you move your car and try to get up a ledge, they had a cup and they just came right behind with the pen. You know how you can like, like, like a combo. All right, that's the only way I can see you can't dodge. You wouldn't, you wouldn't have time to dodge the cup and dodge the pan unless you like Neo off the Matrix or something like that. You could do it like that. But if somebody threw a cup of grease, I'm finna haul ass up out of there. You feel me? I might pull my car up or whatnot and make sure I can get a safe distance from them. So in case they come running with the grease, I can I can outrun them or jump back in my car so they won't mess my car up. I mean, we got to plan this shit out. You better don't go into anything half half cocked. Have a plan. Checo says it is cooperating with the police. I bet y'all are. Today it remained unclear what led to the women arguing. I'm gonna tell you what led to an argument. Just being damn women. Just being women. Period. Sometimes you just you just don't like the way somebody's.
perfume smell. Sometimes you just don't like the way somebody's hair look. Let's just be for real. Now, the Defender Association of Philadelphia, listed as representing Linda, didn't immediately return a message seeking comment. Hmm. So, if she's going to the Defender Association of Philadelphia, that means she must have a counterclaim or something else allegedly took place that they're not discussing right now. My people in Philly, chime in the comment section. Let your boy know what's going on because... This is a story all about how Latifah Linda life got twisted and turned upside down. I mean, let's just be for real. Let's see what's really going on. But at the same time, you have some people out here with go for bad. Not saying that the manager at this restaurant went for bad. But you never know what people be thinking. That's why I'm, I'm very cautious with mine because I'm like this. And I, I try to illustrate that, but it's hard for people to get that. Don't go there unless you want to. Go there. You feel what I'm saying? And only certain people are going to understand that. You feel me? Don't go there unless you want to go there. Remember that. Tell your, tell your uh, friends, family, kids that today. You know what I'm saying? Your kids come home acting bad and shit, don't want to do their homework and all the stuff. Tell them. Don't go there unless you want to go there. When you go to work and your boss getting on your damn nerves, walk straight up to him or her. Look them dead in the eye and say, don't go there unless you want to go there. When you when you at home with your with, with your wife or your girlfriend, fellas, and they don't want to do right, they don't want to get that cookie up or whatnot, don't take it. But this is what you tell them when you crank your car up and getting ready to leave. Don't go there because I'm about to go there. You're about to go to the other woman's house. Anyway, let me know what you all think about this video. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely share the video with your friends and family who work at these fast food places or any restaurant. Just let them know. You know what I'm saying? Don't go there unless you want to go there. Y'all have a blessed day. Stay safe. I'm out.